there's a lot of adventure, there's a lot of excitement associated with going to sea and is unfortunate in a way that it has been traditionally so inaccessible to people. Expanding that is an incredible opportunity and I think a really important one, especially for oceanographers. Make it a little bit more human. It's just inviting people into the sort of very earliest stages of that discovery. My very first cruise as a faculty member here at GSO, I was um, seven or eight months pregnant and instead of going on the ship and conducting the leading the research from the from the vessel I stayed on shore and used the inner space center be present on the ship without actually being there do you think once once you guys have a visual on it from the deck could you point a camera at it I'd love to one see of that, the just for really my own extraordinary mind. benefits of using that was that it not only allowed me access to the ship but it allowed a uh, much greater audience as well. And I, th I just think it's a really exciting opportunity to be able to share that with more than just the people who are on the ship. I was really drawn to GSO because it has its own campus, it's right on the water, it has a really rich history of faculty being able to really direct, and students being able to really directly interact with the ocean. And there's an emphasis on that, not only with the facilities at the pier, but also with the, uh, the research ship, the Endeavour. Um, I think that having a, a research ship of its own was a huge draw. To me, sort of defines an oceanographic institution. I'm Melissa Omond. I'm assistant professor at the Graduate School of Oceanography at the University of Rhode Island. I make research observations of the fate of carbon in the ocean.